trouble yourself not with the cost of this crusade. Its noble end affords you broad tolerance in your choice of means. Hello, hello! J-Pop is back with more of the Darkest Dungeon. Alright. We got an exclamation point here because we have a rescued hero. Right? What, who did we rescue? It doesn't matter. Our, our stagecoach is full. So we're not going to bother. Um... You should receive stress relief. Right? Slow reflexes, so I want to fix that. Get your speed back. Bad healer, we should fix you. Fix that as well. Alright. I think I said we'd go back. Alright, we have a Vestal. We're gonna run the same crew we've been running. Keep up the same crew. You got bless. Go back. We have a yellow key now. First, let's not get distracted. Get bleed. Get that. You get the candle. I give you Dismas's head. You can have the sun ring. Could do the ancestor's coat. Oh no, you get more damage versus blood suckers. It's been going. This is we've we've had good runs. We've had really good runs. Going back to the courtyard. All the food. All of you. Two of you. Stack plus one of bandages. Two medicinal herbs. No keys. Holy water, one ladarium, two torches. Oh, man, we're gonna be so full of stuff. We'll bring five blood. I 
This look good? Looks good to me. We're coming for you, Viscount. If only treasure could staunch the flow of otherworldly corruption. Oh. Well, we got a fight coming into here. Um, you were more dangerous, but you are now dead. No bleed. Oh, stun. Low chance, but. Point blank. Ooh, three hit points. Zero hit points. The greater the glory. Maybe I should get rid of the shovels. I'll get rid of the shop two shovels. I didn't plan that out properly when buying all the stuff. <coughs> Excuse me. Damn, how much stress was that? One hit point. Continue the onslaught. Destroy them all. The abyss returns even the boldest gaze. Oh, that got used. Stun. Excuse me a sec. Yes, I'm getting into Discord. Got a request from a buddy. You asked that I'm here. And also you're online, so... Eh, goop hug. Point blank. Ow. Decimated. Ooh. Palpable fear. Damn, they're just stacking the stress on him. Holy jeez. probably necessary right now. Eh. Right. As the fiend falls, a faint hope blossoms. Damn it, you gotta move. You got the thirst from the guy that's already hurting. Jeez. We get this heal. Damn it. Oh, jeez. No point blank shot. Confidence surges as the enemy crumbles. 
Rose. Success so clearly in view. Or is it merely a trick of the light? Food we don't necessarily need. Great, we're not gonna get out of this fight without a resolve check. Damn it. Damn it! Fuck you, game! Right off the fucking bat. I ain't made it through the whole goddamn hallway. Oh, come on! You know what's funny? I just realized I had my mic muted the whole fucking time. Yeah, I know you were muted. And you didn't mention anything. I thought you were just ignoring me. <laughs> no, I was too busy being pissed off that my goddamn... There's only, there's only one person stressed. And he's at a resolve check. Not happy about it. That's a little unfortunate. Yeah, now you're gonna cause problems for every fucking everybody else. Annihilated. Oh, not only did he have a resolve check, he failed it. Oh, yeah. Go ahead and get the Crimson Curse. Alright, cool. Wouldn't be the darkest dungeon without it. He'll do fine. Weakened. Damn, stun. I hate that fucking thing. Oh. Unbalanced. Oh, okay. That just add 38 more stress. Jesus Christ, how horrible. I just started this run, too. Oh, now you pass. Okay, thanks, asshole. I thought I almost clicked the corpse on accident. I would have been so mad. So now you probably knew this, but did you know that the flagellant's a manly man to ever exist? A manly man? The manliest man to ever exist. In what way? I watched a video where he uh, 1v1 the hag on him. 1v1 the hag while breaking her cauldron first. <laughs> can say, very impressive on how he did that. Oh no, I'm nearly dead. Let's egg sanguinate. Oh, crit heal. I'm fully healed now. I wonder how old that video is because they've nerfed um, his healing capabilities. He gets a debuff after he heals by like a lot. Debuff for his healing or a debuff on something else? Debuff for his healing. So you, he right. can't repeatedly do it effectively. And it gets worse and worse and worse if you like do it in a row. Everybody's well, all left up. It's at least older than, uh, older than that change. What are you, craving blood? There you go. Alright, everybody's so unbelievably effed up. I'm gonna campfire. We'll see how this goes. A moment of respite. A chance All right, you ate the food? That's a good start. Hey, how many vegetables does it take to die in a pit? Uh, at least five. Distress at 80.
You stormcloak piece of shit. You shot an arrow right in my head. Tracking. Yeah, if we could do... Oh, oh. Okay, no, I gave it. All right. Are you going to talk shit, give us all problems? No? One thing I wish they would do is tone down how often people who are who fail the resolve check cause problems. Yeah. Like, it's like almost every other turn one person's causing a problem. If there are two people, like, it's, it just compounds. It gets so bad really fast. But also on the flip side, if you get people who pass the resolve checks, it just becomes impossible to stress you out. Yeah, actually that's changed since the uh since the update. It's oh. not it's not quite as powerful as that. God, all they're doing is hitting him. I'm trying to work down his stress and the game's not going to let me. Slowly, gently. This is how a life is taken. And you doing shit without my permission. I can't sorry Shimmy, I can't hear you over how pissed off I am right now. I don't think he- oh, he does bleed enough. Alright. Good job, jackass. Death. Unforeseen. Unforgiving. All this is junk. Alright, so I have the yellow key to go over there. No idea what's over there. Can't get through that door because that's a blue door. And I have no idea what's over there. Not enough, it's all one hit point. I don't know why I did that, that was such a big error on my part. Oh, so how do you like the thing from the stars? The thing from the stars is, is uh, it's a cool fight. Uh, stronger than a collector, um, definitely stronger than a collector actually. Um, it's it's clear that when you fight it you need dots to fight it only because yeah. you can't deep like 90 percent protection or something stupid yeah when you get below half he has just immense amount of protection ah oh, come on and damn it Oh, and now you're all the way in the back. We can't do jack shit. Um, yeah, you need dots to to finish the last portion of his health. Oh God! Do I want to know what just happened? Just yes, you do. That okay, is, everybody's getting there? crit up the yin yang. Maybe I shouldn't have called you in here because my bad luck might be affecting you. God. I blame you. That's nah, fine. I accept the blame. 
Ah, oh, jeez. It's a fun fight, and it's not... I mean, obviously, but it's it's not an easy fight. It's easier than the Collector. Um, what is it that I wanted to say? I could have sworn... I've seen, uh... Like, the crystal that it summons, I've only had it ever explode on me. But I want to say I've seen, uh... Something else. See, seeing it do something else. Alright, the good news is the bounty hunter is down to 16 stress, and I'm going to do another campfire. Circle in the dark. So the bounty hunter was the one getting his butthole rocked? Well, everybody was getting crit hit. So everybody was getting rocked. He's no longer afflicted. We got it down to zero. Amazing. Thank God. What a test gallows humor. Alright. Cool. Mm -hmm. Now, Dismiss is the only one with 46 stress. Our bounty hunter is clear of... Um... Stress. Stress. Alright. Oh, but we get ambushed. Oh, we get surprised as well. Ain't that, ain't that bad. We had to use up all of our food and campfires, but we're basically back to square one. Alright. Well, it's always better to be at square one than be dead. Yeah. Impressive. As victories mount. So Let's pop the potion resistance. before that uh, ice spike hits me in the face. Rip, rip that guy's wiener out. <laughs> all right, now we gotta walk and walk and walk the courtyard all the way back. You gotta walk. Walk, walk, senora. Walk all the time. You know why I hated that movie? Why? Because my mom used to work at a movie theater. And, you know, all the billboard signs and movies or whatever, right? Yep. Some of them she'd take home. My brother had, like, Peter Pan, Oliver and Company. Mm -hmm. I fucking have Beetlejuice in my fucking room. <laughs> Like that shit creep. Like if I if I lay down and looked at it or something, like it would freak me the fuck out. I can't even remember the other posters that were in my room. There was at least one more, probably two, but that's the only one I remember. <laughs> That was actually really cool. I wish we still had those. I don't even know what happened to those. I watched that movie. I was I went over to someone's house and um, they had they were just playing movies and they had one of those really good HD TVs, right? That movie looks mega cheesy when it's that clear. Well, it is incredibly old. I know. It was it wasn't made to be ran on those amazing TVs. I know, when I when I look at that, I'm like, it's crazy. Like how much how much of it is is pretty bad. Oh 
don't think it's that bad, but... No, it's not that bad, but, like, you notice a lot. It's not that bad, but it's still bad. Yes. I'm getting tons of campfires now. No surprise. Oh, I don't have tracking on now. Uh. God damn it! He keeps dodging that fucking hit. He's going to do the thirst. Oh, I get a shot. Alright. At least you made up for it with the repost. Good, no crit. That's what I was afraid of. But this guy is the more dangerous one. We should spike him first. Like that some bitch down. But I got a YouTube. point blank which could kill him. And now I'm gonna follow up on him because less people to fight is less people to fight. YouTube demonetization. Saving every four seconds because Skyrim is still an unstable game. Hehehe. <laughs> Man, ever since the new update, like, Darkest Dungeon will just crash on me. Such a pain. Yeah, it's never fun to have a game crash on you. I'd like it better if it was like, hey, Skyrim crashed for X reason. Yeah. But no, this is just closed distance. Like, okay. You know. And it's just... Oh, he's not dead yet. Alright. Now he's dead. Or at least when he yeah, bleeds, he will. Bad. Great is the weapon that cuts on its own. You're craving blood. Look, there's extra blood. Oh, you're craving blood. Man, the Crimson Curse is almost like freaking, uh... Bitch. It's like a half bad resolve check. And like a one-eighth good resolve check. Because you get stronger and faster when you're in bloodlust. But like, you'll say all these things that stresses out your teammates. It's better to have, and the stress damage isn't substantial, is it? It's like, oh, here's five stress, here's four stress. Yeah, it's not it's the not like, worst, there's just far worse. Yeah, it's not like, oh, here's 25 stress because go fuck yourself. Yeah. Extra packs I have so hard to find. There. Doesn't help. I also. Doesn't help what? Turn... Doesn't help. I also turn the brightness of the game down. Oh. Like now, dark places are actually dark. It's recommended <laughs> to have torches everywhere instead of. Perfect fine everywhere forever. But then I've also got realism mods, like my character's eyes eventually grows used to the uh darkness. That's cool. That's not a feature I've ever seen in a game before. Thank you, mods. Triumphant pride precipitates a That's all I can say when it comes to Skyrim, thank you, mods. You make the game worth playing. Man, another camp- I can't take another campfire. I- Kinda sad. 
You fi you can find campfires? Is that what you're doing? Yeah, in the Crimson Courtyard, there are these bottles, uh, cases of wine. When you hit it with a shovel, uh, you get a campfire. That's pretty far. The thing is, is that none of the campfires were in um, the top half of the Crimson Courtyard that I explored. They were all in the bottom half. Please, good heroes, release me from these chafing sack shackles. And if I don't touch you... Please, if you don't save me, I sh I'll die. If you don't save me, I'll die. Well, let me tell you this little story of things that aren't my fucking problem. Holy shit, what do I do? Do I go to the left or do I go to the right? Because I'm left-handed, I say go to the left. I was born to be left-handed. Damn it! That's another campfire. I'm just walking right by. Oh, shit. But I want to know what you found. Three of the Chevaliers. Ooh, that's already not fun. And those things are annoying. They're immune to move, right? Yeah. The buff is shit. Their attack yeah. could stun. Sometimes they attack one or two people. Oh, and they drop, and when they debuff, he was minus 50 dodge. Oh, okay, that's. It's a bit much. They're going after the Vestal. Well, okay, I'm lucky. They spread out the damage. Alright. Damn it, why'd you move up? What are your abilities? Alright. Flagellant was able to get a heal. Ah, oh, come on. Needed that stun. I need to hit this guy. Thanks. Leave him with three HP, cause that's useful. Dismiss is bleeding in on death's door. Wonderful. Oh, no, that's that's not great. I'm just lucky I already have the achievement. Yeah, for Dismiss and uh Reynold. Reynold to survive all the way to the end of the darkest dungeon. Do they have to be in the party in the dank dungeon? Or just be alive? They have to be in a party, they have to go to They have to be in the final fight. I think so. They they have to at least be the tier six. They have to walk into the doors. You have to start the mission with them, and that's when you get the achievements. All right. They were actually the two I also chose to survive. I let uh. Dismiss and Reynolds survive. Yeah. The, uh, in the end. Choice of death. Yeah.
All right, we're down to one. We've made it, but this game wanted to F me over. Remind yourself that overconfidence is a slow and insidious killer. Overconfidence is a slow and insidious killer. I reminded myself. Another? Oh no, that's food. Sixty, ninety, ninety. Oh, that's right. They're both ninety. Do I camp? Do I just eat food? Yep, be fat. All right, a crit of ghoul, that's a good start. Do I heal or do I stun, try to stun the ghoul? 50% chance. Stun. Uh, absolutely stun. Alright, I got the stun. Alright, he's dead. Now if I could cheese it just so that the Vestal gets a heat oh no nope, that didn't happen. Size has no intrinsic merit unless inordinate exsanguination be considered a virtue. You craving blood? You were craving blood. I find that whether they're craving or in bloodlust, like they cause problems either way, but under bloodlust you're stronger, you're faster. And so sometimes what? Basically, it's, basically, roll the dice. Do you want to be stronger but cause more problems, or cause Just, less problems but yourself? Yeah, but less is kind of... I even question that, because sometimes it really doesn't feel like it's less problems. Well, I think every turn, the a person under the bloodlust effect roars about the blood, but it doesn't always stress out. While a person craving at least keeps his mouth shut a third of the time. Yeah, that seems right. Still sucks. No matter how you slice it, it still sucks. Yeah, no, Darkest Dungeons is a game made to just kick you in the kick you in the dick while you're down. I don't you know, I per I think that this game is actually rigged in some ways. I actually think know, that it's programmed that way. Cause like And you know something? I completely agree with you. I've seen bullshit happen, but also it's it's rigged in like the way that it doesn't feel rigged, you know? Yeah, it's like um I've seen where uh like my party is like it they're just beaten. It's bad. I've made some bad decisions, right? And like every every one of the uh, opponent's attacks missed, right? Or it's like the person that's on death's door, everybody else dodge, but that one specifically missed. And it's like, the game won't, uh... Like, if you're really, really beaten down, the game will actually take pity on you. 
or like if you're doing really really well all of a sudden just one fight three crits in a row you know they lost all their HP they have a heart attack and they die this son of a bitch Stormcloak just broke into my house to give me a letter and left nice He's lucky I didn't kill him on sight. Sweet stress relief. Uh, bounty hunter. Wait, finally got rid of that fucker in the first round. So which boss are you going for in the court right now? The Viscounts. I've never faced the Viscount. I stopped the last time I, I did my run. Cause I, it, you know what? The Crimson Court is, is meant to be played from a new file. It absolutely is. I but when I did I it- I will have to agree on, disagree on that one. I think it's made to- made for everyone but it's made concentration the early is more balanced towards early game files part of the reason my my main reason for this is that um when i started a new file i just spent most of my time going into dungeons looking for invitations and that took a while and then once you clear it the infestation goes away then it goes back to low medium and high so, it just, I spent a lot of time doing nothing trying to get invitations for the Crimson Court. I found that with a new file, it goes through more fluently. Thank God. It's always nice for, uh, because, like, I guess that's right. Because you're, fucking Christ. Because you're going to do things with a new file more than you're going to do things with a game completed file. Like, you want to go explore the dungeons because there's reason to. Yes. While with the, while with the uh, old file, it's like, well, I guess I have to do this. Yeah, I'm just, I'm just trying to go through the motions to get to the new game content. And that was my experience. And so it wasn't good. Ironically... The um, the color of madness is end game. It basically is all end game. Um, they do have a little fail safe in it, which was really smart of them, and I really appreciate. Cause you get the apprentice mission, you get the medium mission, then after the medium mission, um, damn it, uh. After the medium mission, there are basically mercenaries that are all leveled up. Um, the level 6, they have all the things and everything. And you can hire them and use them for the Color of Madness. But they uh, can only be used in the Color of Madness. And they take a shaving off of what you do um, while you're in there. So it's like you get to experience the Color of Madness earlier in a lot of ways for free. Because you have full party members and all that stuff. Um, but, you know, you can't take them on regular missions. So you still have the regular game. It was a really smart move by them. And when I came across it, I was really pleased. champion falls. Seize this moment. A Skyrim game now because if it crashes right now, I would be furious. No, oh. I'm about to become the guild master of the Thieves Guild, so I've, I've done a lot of work. No, oh, another ghoul. Stun the ghoul! Stun the ghoul! Yes! Of 
course I wish the uh Lajley got his move beforehand so that the bleed would have hit him while he was stunned. And then of course when his next turn begins, he bleeds again. His own blood. Ah. Uh. Oh, jeez. And there's no way that stun's gonna work. And he gets the howl off. Ugh. Festering fear consumes the mind. Prodigious size alone does not dissuade the sharpened blade. I'm running out of food. A spark without kindling is a goal without hope. I wish they would have you do more shit like Thieves Guild, where instead of just going through a quest line, now you're the master, they have you do a bunch of shit on the side. Huh. <laughs> but of course, you know, I'd also like to kill myself next time I have to do any Thieves Guild quests. Give me food. Damn. Shovels. I'm running low on food. I'll risk a shovel. I think I'm on the cusp of not needing to take home any more gold. It's getting close. Good. Good. Because of the bank and everything. Oh yeah, I forgot there's a bank. It gives you, what is it, 10% in? F five. Yeah, that's still pretty good. Yeah. I think I'm up to 350k now. But when, uh... Oh, boom, I risked it. Uh, but it'll be nice when I don't need to bring home money anymore. Ouch. That bleeds as well? That's unfair. Having an attack hit everybody for like medium high damage and bleed. Where you are, there's work to be. Alright, you oh, son of a bitch. Don't you talk to your guild guild master that way? <laughs> eh, not like I give a shit. I love how big the courtyard is. I just wish there was a way to like fast travel with a penalty, you know. Yeah, you will cure, cure stress when you go across. But like 
I just wish it could be like, alright, take me from here to here, and whatever the penalty is, let's let's go. It'd probably be some stress penalty. It should be like stress, and, and it could tell you, be like, and you'll need eight food, or something. Do I want stress this? Stress and food, that's good then, actually. Do I want this bright tambourine? Well, how rare is the tambourine? It is rare. Blue. Uh, blue. I would take it then. It's not green or white. I don't want to replace um, anything in my inventory though. Should I get yeah, rid of a sack of gold? Um, unless you have to get rid of something worth a lot of money. Gold's not worth a lot of money to you anymore. No, and it's not. I mean, I also have a stack of four rubies and two er two sapphires. Sapphires are worth, what, 1,000 each? Yeah. Then that's definitely worth more than a stack of gold. I hate the backup penalty. It's harsher now. Oh, uh, they made it more, uh, more stressful? It's like eight. Ooh. Damn it, another campfire. You know, I think I'll end this run after this fight. Not getting any luck? It's just, I have a campfire. There's a campfire nearby. So, if I end this run, if I campfire, de-stress the people as much as I can. Um, leave. When I come back... I'm like two steps away from getting a new campfire, and uh, you know, um, also for, it'd be nice if I get out of here without any resolve checks. If I could get two of the four people uh, dropped in um, stress, so I only have to send two people, I don't have to wait as long to try to fix people up because you know when I walk out of here there'll be bad quirks or whatever yep nope I understand that I also only have 10 food left so it's probably best to back out then Yeah, that game, it's going to beat your shit in if you don't leave soon. Yeah. Alright, I got out of this fight. And I think... Yep, I'm just trading in all the goods now. Let's have this campfire. <coughs> Damn it, Crimson Curse backfired. An uneasy companionship. That's good. Uh, prevent the nighttime ambush. I don't want no surprises. That works. Three of the four people have no stress. I can also open up this treasure chest, which is great because I'm leaving. Usually it has some junk. Get rid of that. Get rid of those. A jade. All right, let's go. So I only have to send the. Uh, Vessel to pray or broth or whatever the hell tickles her fancy. Sounds so strange for a vessel to go to uh, a brothel. Right? I am a lady of God. Let me go to the whorehouse. <laughs> Except three of them. I got clumsy. Torn rotator. Which is minus five damage and melee skills. Once our 
our estate was the end. I mean, I guess plan. Torn Rotator for a vessel's like not bad at all. Yeah, except that's not what she got. She got Risk Taker. Oh. Plus okay, 10 damage, minus 10 dodge, and she probably needs to dodge. Yeah, no, definitely. Dodge is like one of the most important stats, I find. Yeah. Protection is like nice. Dodge, I think, is important. Basically, I would rage, wager it as dodge, accuracy, that's a dragon, uh, dodge, accuracy, then damage, self. I actually would say accuracy, dodge, damage, then speed. Well, okay, that's kind of fucking funny. <laughs> oh, I didn't think that could happen. A, a dragon just flew up and picked a giant off of the ground and dropped it to its death. Damn. I do like whenever you go to a brothel, they, they do that scene from um, Enter the Dragon. I choose you. And you, and you, it's been a rough day. <laughs> I feel like I need three horse today. Oh, you fucking wolf, get over here. I'll beat you to death with this war axe. Dragon, get that tiny wiener over here. I want to beat it up. Okay, well, we'll be delayed for a week or two. I mean, I'm, I don't think I have another party to go in there. I don't like bringing the occultist. Yeah, the occultist is not great for a long one because he'll probably kill you. Somewhere along the way. And I have no vest already, so. Time to wait. That's right, and that's what... That's what's great. Although, I do have 10 invitations now. I find that I get way more invitations um, than, I, than I need. Ooh! I could take on the Shrieker. Um... Let's take on the Shrieker. I was confused as to what the Shrieker was for a moment. It's that crow thing. Yeah. And that I could bring the Occultist in with because the fight is just unique. Leper? Yeah, I'll do this. It was funny. I I got a full party wiped against the thing from the stars, and um, uh, then I beat the shrieker. Then I did one mission, and then the shrieker took eight of my trinkets, and I was like, I, I just got this thing, <laughs> which technically yes. I didn't. I only got um his uh nest. That's one way to piss someone off, though, like, Oh, I've got this! Oh, I stole- Oh, it just got taken from me. Alright, cool. You know what? It was fun while I had this. I'm just gonna go kill myself now. <laughs> the good news is, is that it didn't actually take anything of mine that, uh... The shit about? That, yeah, I mean, I, I got- It didn't take any of the things that I took with me when I was out on the mission, and things like the Ancestor's Candle, the Ancestor's Scroll, whatever... Um, I could already hear your scream if that was taken from you. You would not be happy. That'd be so mad. Be hella mad. Uh.
Leopard gets this message hit and a focus ring. I hated the leper for the longest time. Because he likes to miss every fucking second. Right. And then it's like, you know what? You need to have him with a focus ring. And then you know what? He was really badass then. I'm like, alright, so that's... That's the, uh... The That's what you need to do. The leper became cool. What? The wondrous story about how the leper became cool. You told me, because he was a king, right? And an yep. emperor? He's, he was a king or a prince. Hi, royalty. Yeah. Alright, let's see. We don't need food. Um... I'll bring Iggy a shield, because why not? Um... And... That's it! You know what, I'm not even mad about how this game crashed this time, it was kind of... It crashed right as I was getting decapitated. <laughs> Ouch. Although it's complete bullshit that it... That I got instant killed, full life. God damn it, Skyrim! I have health. Take it, take it from me before you kill me. <laughs> yeah, how many turns it is before he runs away? Is it three or four? I think it's three full rounds. All right, end of three, beginning of four. And you win by either getting one of the two. Right. I think you need to kill the Shrieker in order to get the best possible rewards. Because right after you kill him, the nest just dies. But he's so hard to hit, he has 63 dodge. <laughs> God damn it, he just doesn't like the leper. Crit the shit up the leper? Oh. All he's done is attack the leper. Not crit, but just hit him. Wow, okay, these guys are really strong. This time I didn't get instant killed, they actually killed me. Spooky, got killed legit. But I'm also being an idiot and not using my shout. Such a terrible assault cannot be left unanswered. Success so clearly in view, or is it merely a trick of the light? Is that what he? Okay, I knew he took my blood amulet. It was the only thing I knew I was missing that I wanted. And of course, he took it. Like I didn't know exactly what he had took. I couldn't quite identify it. Ew. At least you're happy that you figured out what it was. Eh. I kind of knew. Man. Everybody got... 
Everybody got diseased in that fight. Everybody's got one bad freaking uh, quirk. And any good quirks they got, they were replaced. <laughs> they were crazy. They were replaced like faded with like something, some other junk. Well, you've got all that money as you claim. You should be using it to lock down some quirks. Not just yet. I, I have done it for some, but I haven't done it for everybody yet. I've done like precise striker plus five crit, you know, little things like that. If a healer has a good healing uh, quirk. Apparently there's a quirk that for the uh, fucking what's it face. Uh, the guy who gets you killed, the occultist, he's got his own special little quirk. Which, if he somehow gets it after a fight with uh, the thing from the stars, it's like weird reconstruction healing yes. plus 50%. That's like a G fucking G. Well, you know, then he rolls zeros all the time anyway, and. 50% of zero is still fucking zero. Right. It's like, but you don't get a win. Alright. The good news with that little shrieker fight, I'm ready to go back into the Crimson Court. <laughs> <laughs> Vestal you get out here and like if you keep doing runs with level fives and level sixes like after you level them up you don't need to spend any more money on them so it's it becomes all profit all right the crew is back I don't even know why I'm going to the blacksmith with them I, I keep like, I should have the confidence that they're all done, but my just roboticness is gonna visually be like, Okay, yeah, they're all set, even though they've been set for a while now. I'm gonna give Dismiss the Sun Ring because he missed a whole lot of stuff last time and it PO'd me. Kept missing for you? That makes me sad to hear. It was so roamy. After watching that uh, one one run you put up on YouTube, like the very first run where you kept Dismiss and them alive all through the Darkest Dungeon, Dismiss was being your MVP that whole time. Right? Like, things are looking bad, and Dismas is like, okay, crit, 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 crit. <laughs> oh, what trinket should I put on you? Good one. Do you know with the uh, the Crimson Court trinkets, like, there's the top part, and then there's a bottom part. You know, it says some words in red, and then there's, like, extra stats below. What is that? Uh, set bonus. Set bonus? Yep. So they have to wear two Crimson Court, um, things? It's either that, it's either that or it's, uh, went under the effects of... Being the curse. cursed. Cursed. 
And it's either they're under the effects of the curse or their uh, set bonuses. I should go on Google and check it out, but I, I just haven't. In a lot of ways, it almost doesn't matter because a lot, like, the trinkets, they're, they're good, but, like... Not worth that much. Like, the like the Ancestor's trinkets, just, they're, they're less conditional. Yes, we're going back into the courtyard. All the food, all the shovels. Oh no, we get all the bandages. Two medicinal herbs, no keys. Holy water and change, two torches. Six blood. We have one craving and one. Uh, we will pick up a campfire right off the bat. All right. I don't think the um the fanatic comes for you in the courtyard, does he? I'm not sure. I just I've have never never heard of it, but I'm not gonna I'm not gonna give you a definitive yes. You have I'd to say. Not I'd rather not say yes and uh, she'd pop out of nowhere like, hey! <laughs> hey guys, how's it going? <laughs> hey guys, what's up? It's me, Jared. And he just beats you to devil. If only treasure could staunch the flow of otherworldly corruption. I'd rather not be responsible for that. I hear your advice from your friendly perspective. Joke's on you, he's already crimson cursed. Confidence surges as the enemy crumbles. Ah. That didn't give a shit. <laughs> Destroy. He's already crimson cursed. All right, cool. I'll just beat the shit out of you then. I gave you the fucking sun ring, and you still miss. I gave you the a roof over your head, and this is how you repay me. I know they nerfed the sun ring. I believe it's it was. I believe it did 15% damage and 10 accuracy. Now it's 10 and 5. Well, to be fair, it was one of those always have it or you suck one. Unless you're doing a money ganging run in the dark. Right. Annihilated. That's when you wear the moon ring. <laughs> exactly. So clearly in view. Or is it merely trick of the light what's in this box a key what color orange so now I have to walk backwards with this key you know what this stack of gold it's not worth it Are you craving blood? Alright. Eat some blood. Shut the fuck up.
hate God. whenever I switch back to the map because it'll like center and since the courtyard is so freaking huge, I have to like right click and scroll it back and be like, no, this is where I want it. No, please, over here. What's behind locked door number two? Nothing. More of the damn courtyard. Ooh, long and ominous hallway. Scared. Because if you ain't scared, God forbid that thing's gonna ruin. Oh shit, I think it's a boss. They just gave me three curios in a row, all with food. That's less happy. Oh! Let's walk into this door. Hi, Viscal! Alright, they have all these hanging bodies. I don't know how this fight goes. Do I want to take out the things that are hanging? I probably do. I ain't telling you. I know you're not telling me. I'm just speaking out loud. Yeah, I'm I want Twitch, you to learn. I'm a Twitch streamer is how we do it. I already killed one of them. What? Set the visc out. He can bleed his own blood. All right. I would say that it was bad because he just ate a body and healed himself, but it took a turn away from him damaging me. So it was an actual win in my book. Well, all right. I mean, I'm not going to fault you for that, but not gonna sit there and say completely correct. It's like, hey, I, that's like being Mr. Brightside when, hey, I didn't die. And? Like, like <laughs> you didn't, but you still lost an arm. Now I get what this whole, the Viscount has set the table. Ooh, food theme, ooh. He could be stunned. Vestal can stun on one turn. Slow him down. Death waits for the slightest lapse in concentration. Well, out. Served rare. Yum. The blood quickens. He's just trying to be a good host. I like my medium rare. At least brown it on the outside first. Really Shit. Personally, I like him well done. But that seems to be heresy among everybody. To me, it's people's opinion. I mean... I like mine just not alive, but like twitching, like it was recently alive. As the fiend falls, a faint hope blossoms. You know, I don't think that was meant to sound that grim. Meant to sound what? That grim. <laughs> You're right, it, it wasn't supposed to sound grim. Just... a little funny? Alright, Mr. Vampire. 
to murder something, then while well, still sitting there twitching, you eat it up. I don't know the words. <laughs> That's one of his attacks though, Hungry Eyes. To be fair, I don't know the words either. So I wouldn't be one, I wouldn't be a good person to judge. I think that song was in Dirty Dancing if I remember right. Well, resolve check. Masochistic. Is that what you like in that brothel? She's my brothel, uh. She likes getting beat? <laughs> I guess so. She's like, more pillows, less pillows! <laughs> beat me like you mean it, you pussy. That's right, you're rapturous. The mind cannot hope to withstand such an yeah, that's like all that's like all he ever gets, isn't it? That is the only thing that he gets. Huh. Never gets the positive one, only rapturous. I think it's like a half bad a quarter good. Alright, he's dead. Wow, you killed him already? Yep. Shit. Good work, I guess. Beat the shit out of him. Fucked him up! Little extra room. I am going to spend this campfire, because we just had a boss fight. Oh shit, that's not what I wanted. I misclicked. Oh. I clicked the blood instead of the campfire. <laughs> Did you throw away the blood? No, I didn't throw it away. I just used one. Oh, that's fine. As long as you come out with a surplus of blood, fine. We are preventing the nighttime ambush. Okay, that's it. Vestal's still a little hurt. All we gotta do is make it down to the end of this room. Ooh. You know what? Packs laden with loot are often low on supplies. I can eat all this extra food that I don't need. Is only the first test. Now it must be carried home. Ah, uh, what should I get rid of? A stack of food. Here you go, I have some blood. Damn it, there's still more of this fucking hallway. Oh shit, this loops around to here? Interesting. Oh, I was waiting for the god damn it, I should have gone this way first. No, it's symmetrical. You can tell it's symmetrical, so. I bet you that would have had. It's Yeah, this is a locked room. Okay, I never found the blue key to cut across the middle, so I went the long oh. way around. Oh, that hurts. Yeah, but I mean... What can you do? 
I that's you know after you go through the courtyard like once or twice you kind of notice that there's basically there's a quick way to the end there's a highly efficient way to the end I got a countess invitation countess is next everybody's cured of the crimson curse Everybody can share facilities once again. <laughs> Thank God. The turbulent clouds from the courtyard have abated. The heirs of the estate feel narrowly agreeable once again. All right, Mr. Clumsy, you get fixed. Faded. Chance to turn any hit. Miss into a hit. I love that one. Ooh, ten percent death blow resistance. That makes it pretty resilient there. And that's good for the flagellant since some a lot of his abilities come with with low HP. Low HP and exceedingly high stress. I wanna lock in quick reflexes at two speed, but I'm gonna save my money for just a bit longer. Man, my work week was weird. How so? Do you think anybody would want to steal newspapers from someone? A bunch or just one? <laughs> Five. That's a pretty unique number. But... It's exactly how much was stolen from me. <laughs> it's unique, but it's not crazy amounts. But the best part is... The people who stole it, I saw them do it the entire time. I was sitting there munching on breakfast, and then they they run up after they get dropped off. And I was like, hmm, wait. Fucking bolts up, and then I see him running away with five with at least some papers in their hand. I'm like, alright then. I guess some people on my road aren't getting their paper today. <laughs> Like, I was bummed about it, because those five papers lost means five less houses worth of money for me, but... You know, when it's only 75 cents, you don't really care. You don't feel... You're not, you're not that heartbroken over it. No, uh, they pay me shit. I don't... Those kids could have just literally stolen from my hands, and I'd be like, well, alright. <laughs> they don't pay me enough to fight for them. The Countess... Commands an audience. Perhaps she wishes one last dance. What were you gonna say? Like, I wouldn't fight the kids at all. Like, they'd come up, give me some papers. All right, here you go. Fuck off. Think I give a shit about these? You're fucking wrong. It's true. Like, me and some coworkers were talking. I wish there was a new um. Like, I get why you can't and all that, but, like, you know, when you pay people by the hour, the one that works hard to the one that doesn't work hard, it doesn't matter. They get paid the same, right? Yep. And somehow, if somebody got paid by, like, the unit or something like that, those that work harder, you know... That don't cause remakes or inefficiencies. Um, like, can make more money by doing a better job than their peers. Like, I would like that. Damn it, why are there all these short apprentice ones? I think I'm going into the cove. Going into the cove. 
Man, one of my biggest pet peeves in games like Skyrim, NPCs who are just faster than your walking speed, but slower than your running. Uh, <laughs> oh, what was I doing? Sorry, I looked at chat for a moment for no reason because nobody was chatting to me. Oh. I was like, oh, is there somebody in chat? Hello, person in chat. But nope, we're forever alone. <laughs> you guys come by. There are other people that come by. Don't think I don't notice you, but... Come here and stay as long as you like, however you wish. Whatever enjoyment you get, I'm glad to give. I am not famous. I don't care to be famous. I just want to have a good time. But when I'm famous, I will forget all about you. And by you, I mean you, Zell. Oh, okay. <laughs> Alright, that was good. Oh, I have no true healer. Yeah, it's okay. It's a short run. We should... We might be fine. It could be okay. Who, who really knows? Chester gets the bleed dice and the crit dice. Blight and stun. I think they, they combined that. I thought they were two different ones. This is a blue, this is a rare padlock for the abomination. Um, da, 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 da. What should I give you? And this miss his head. I wonder how surreal it was for Dismas during that first run. Like, this is my head, what the fuck? Right. Am I even alive? Like, that plus 20% stress should, on Dismas, should be like plus 200%. <laughs> like, what's going on? <laughs> what is this bullshit? You get the map. Alright. Map. Map. <coughs> All the food because we have no healer. Cove. Four shovels? Four shovels. Because it makes me feel good. We'll take a bandage because they bleed. Three herbs because it's the cove and it's so sweet. And torches. Are you currently hunting down the thing from the stars or just doing a cove run to do a cove run? Just doing a cove run to do a cove run. I'm just nice. trying to do apprentice levels to level them up because my uh my mid my mid range has gotten thin and I still got bosses I need to take down. I have a bad feeling it's gonna be one of those unlucky days for you in this area. You're gonna fight the collector. And then it's gonna then the shambling uh no I forget I forget his name the shambler yeah the shambler because you're gonna run out of torches due to some curios requiring a torch or something Another mariner. I have Another faced fortune. the last time I faced the shambler I didn't get a uh, trophy or uh, a trinket so you probably got them all so I've assumed I've gotten them all so the only time. I'm I'm ever running into him again is if uh if it's by darkness. I don't need to do it by choice. Oh look a shambler altar Bye I Ain't touching you Not unless I get a donation for five dollars. I will sell out for five dollars and fight that shambler. I am too poor. <laughs> I know you got five papers stolen from you. <laughs> Now, granted, five papers wouldn't make or break that, because five it's, papers is only 75 cents total. That's, you know, so 
six papers. If they took six papers, that would have been all five dollars. No, it's not seventy-five each. It's seventy-five total. Oh, total. I, I, yeah, I only get fifteen and a half cents per paper. I see that. Is that American or uh, Canadian? Oh, it's dollar? Canadian. Canadian. I get paid shit all. Is the Canadian like, dollar stronger than the American dollar, or no? God no. God no. One American dollar. I guess it's either the other way. One Canadian dollar is about eighty-six American cents. Okay. But no, if I moved over to Calgary, instead of 15 and a half cents, I'd be getting like a dollar 15 per paper. Yeah. Why don't you move there? <laughs> I'm not paid enough. I, I can't afford shit over there. Yeah, I know what you mean. The, there's talks of minimum wage going up over here. And I'm like, I'm going to be unhappy when the minimum wage goes up. Like... What is the minimum wage? It's it's gonna go up like by like seventy percent. But I remember in my youth, the last time I saw a minimum wage go up like a dollar. Waiting to be spent. Like basically everything at like McDonald's. This was how I how I viewed it. Everything at McDonald's went up by a dollar. After the after the dollar raise, so I'm like, okay, however many employees you got back there, make that many more sales than you've made up your cash, and then the sum. But I don't make minimum wage, so and I'm from where I live. I live very very minimalistic. It's it's unfathomable that anybody could live off minimum wage. There's no way, and. Like, if prices start going up for minimum wage to match inflation, they're gonna raise. Everybody else is gonna raise their prices, but I'm not getting a raise. Packs laden with loot. So I'm so I'm basically screwed. Minimum wage has gone up recently. It's like it used to be twelve fifty, and now it's fifteen dollars. Something like that. Like in the past year, it's gone up that much, and it's. It's not going to solve anything. No. Because minimum wage goes up. Everybody has to raise their prices now because they think they can. Then minimum wage has to go up and endless fucking loop. Exactly. The strangest thing is to actually solve the problem, you actually have to go down. Yes, you actually, exactly. I mean, you have to drop minimum wage to such to, to a real, real big low. And then the comp and then every like all the companies and everything, they have to drop their prices of everything to match what dropped. And reset the dollar right. Now, it will never happen, so the only way it does happen, it's sad to say, I'm sorry, but it's economics. If you blow things up, this is how it works. Basically the only way it gets reset is by a crash. Because it was yep. done wrong. The and we're crash fast resets approaching a crash. We are very fast approaching a crash. I know. Like, I know. People yep. like, I, I don't want to hear that and that's not going to be good. And they're right. But the problem is it has to happen. Because everybody's done this all wrong. Economics should never actually do that. This is the reset mechanic that it that it has because people screwed up or were greedy or something. Basically, it's the uh, well struck. The Great Depression. Basically, people got too rich and put too much money in stocks, and then everything became worthless, and then it, the economy became stable after that, and now people have too much money, so it's gonna have to come back down. I know, and. If you look at the government, if you look at, you know, especially the American government, it's 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 the it's a corporate nation. It's it's run by whoever can somehow get in and make money for their peoples and this that and the other. You know, yep. and like it's not true economics, it's not true competition. It's forgery of the rules, forgery of the system. So eventually it goes out of whack.
Even in Canada, our government's not free of corruption and shit. It's not, you know, everybody's not corrupt, but there's there's a very large amount. Yeah. It it's honestly disheartening to see. It's kind of why I don't bother with politics at all. That's yeah. I ever since my recent presidential election and all that, and it's like, I get it. You know, it, it's not just Trump. I understand this isn't all Trump's decisions, but like, if you see how something like this could come to flourishing, like the way the system is set up, the you could just tell it's bad. You know, and it's, I know the presidential thing is just a front. It, all other parts of the government r rule it and run it and, you know, I don't really like talking government on my stream. I, I don't care. It's all garbage. Yeah. It's yeah, sad. whatever. It doesn't, it doesn't matter. Like, you're, it's your stream. Go ahead and voice your opinion. Yeah. You know what? It's all trash and it's not worth talking. Success. As long as your opinion's not extremely racist. Or is it merely Don't do that. <laughs> no. I am not racist by any means. I understood, like, when Trump was making all of the racist slurs and all that stuff, you know, it's like... He painted the picture that you see where he's coming from? You know, I mean, he he was painting a picture, right? He, It's just an incredible shame that... It... it it was received so well by our nation. It's not... The people are as much to blame for this than they realize. Yeah, but if I hear that wall's being built, and if people, and if that rumor of the amount of money being paid is 84 an hour, you better fucking believe I'm applying for a visa. Please, please do that. I would encourage you to. 80, 84 an hour is nothing to sneeze at. Especially 84 American, that's like 110 Canadian an hour. Like, I can, I can almost guarantee if the wall's being built and the money's that much, even you would apply for it. Who the fuck wants to play the national anthem with their car horn? It's just the alarm system, and it's the area that I live, and it's hot, so I have the door open. My apologies, everyone. Please donate money so I can move to a real safe city. It's not it's, terrible here. It's, it's even hot in Canada. Like, we had an unbearable day of 40 Celsius recently. Wait, and wait. It was... Okay, 40 Celsius. Oh, damn. Okay. Yep. Now, keep in mind, that's not extreme for most of America. But, but from where you are, I get it. From where I am, I'm used to 20, at most. And then that comes out and it's like, alright, well, let's go look at the weather network. And they've declared a state of emergency. Don't go <laughs> outside for too long. Yeah, nope. 40 Celsius? State of emergency. Below 40? Here's a warning. That's funny. I, I've got the fan going and everything, and I'm still sweating. I don't want to check how hot it is today. I don't want to cry. <laughs> Ooh, <coughs> double rubies. Swerve. Double I get rid of... Guy. I get rid of the... Bandages. And now you're gonna regret that. I don't think so, it's the cove. You're gonna get the one monster that makes you bleed like... Breathe? Fucking Christ. Oh, that makes that's, you not, bleed that's not until the medium dungeon. The arterial pinch. Uh, it ended uneventfully. We will find all well, better for things to end uneventfully than things end horribly. Although I guess at least if things ended horribly, you'd have something to do. Tuckered out. Yeah. Well, it just means I, I clear it and move on to the next mission. I was lord of this place.
this before the crows and rats made it their domain. Tuckered out. Poor Jester's tuckered out. Alright, I know some people got some effed up quirks that I need to take care of. Especially now that you've got the uh, money to take care of them. Yeah, well, I've always taken care of them, but I always I, I first take care of the ones that aren't locked in first, unless if it's like kleptomaniac, plutomania, wrestlemania, any of those I I I can't have. Imposter syndrome I gotta get rid of. Things that make people pass, steal stuff, skip turns. I can't stand it. It's even more bullshit because that just completely takes control out of your hands. I know, and, and that's the thing that I don't like. I am a control freak when I'm supposed to be in control. I do know that about myself. When I'm in charge and when I'm supposed to have control, I better have control, damn it. And I don't blame you one bit. It's extremely bullshit to lose the lose a game just because somebody decided they wanted to tell you to fuck off. Hey, when I when I got party wiped against uh, the thing from the stars, yeah, it was like, oh, crit and stress. He has zero death door and heart attack. He's dead. Bye. And then it was like another attack. It was a it was a multi hit attack which double crit the front two and stress them to the heart attack and then my last one my last person still left alive had zero HP you know like 120 stress or something and I'm like I'm like oh are you gonna skip your turn or are you gonna let me get one chance to retreat oh passes his turn I'm like he's dead the game decided that he's dead. Like, they weren't getting out alive. <laughs> the game said no. <laughs> oh, you want want me to make an observation about the thing from the stars that might make you a little little strange doubt? Sure. Its face is... The, is Basically, a thing from the stars is a corpse of an elk and other thing. But the face in the thing from the stars is the elk's butthole. You mean like when he opens his mouth, it's that's his butthole going inside yep. out? Yep. Just just look at how the thing is built and you'll see it without fucking fail. What bosses have I beaten? I still need to beat the hag witch. That's in the Warrens, right? Uh, Warrens or Weald, I forget. You know, it's probably Weald. Swine, no, you're right. Swine is, um, is the Warrens. And the Ikohat Flesh. Damn it, all I have are these short apprentice missions I can do. Cause I wanna use my medium people that I have to beat the medium bosses and then I can just push everyone up to champion and just run champion for the rest of the game. Looks like I'm going to the Warrens. Alright. Yeah. 
and I like I like Thieves Guild in Skyrim, but it takes just too long to get it done. <laughs> like I'm starting the Mage Guild quest. I'm willing to bet because I'm gonna have to go to bed in like an hour and a half. I'm gonna be at least halfway done by then. Little nice, it's calm, we're just passing the time, there's no infestation. Um ba 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 The ancestor's coat would be best. We could try that. I have to remember to get off early enough. I promised myself I cooked myself a real dinner. So I need to make sure I do that today. I guess speaking of a uh, good dinner, I made chili. Nice. I don't make it spicy. But, you know, it was still really good. I'm, I'm proud of how it turned out. Although I'm not too happy with how my help how, had it turn out. How your what? How my help had it turn out. How your help? Yeah, because I, I asked for one one thing for them to do, and that was take the meat out eight hours before, uh, well, basically at midnight I asked them to take it out. Right. And where I found it instead was in the fridge. Yeah. And he was like, well, that's how we do it in my house. I'm like, your house is fucking... To be honest, I've heard both, so that's why I always that's why I actually ask in those situations. Like, you want it on the countertop or inside the fridge? To All me, right, like, fair. to me, like, it depends. Um, what it is? Yeah, because I've never heard it heard of it being uh, outside of the uh, fridge, so it was extremely strange. To Oh. Eradicated. Grievous injury. Palpable fear.
confidence surges as the enemy crumbles. <sighs> the match is struck. A blazing star is born. All this going up on YouTube makes me think I should eventually make a tutorial for speedrunning the Blue Marlin. <laughs> like, who would I be making that video for? Who the fuck is gonna play the Blue Marlin now? You, you, There's three speedrunners, myself included. You know, you never know who will come across it. I mean, heck, my LP for uh, Total Recall... Man, that thing shot up when there was an announcement for a uh, Total Recall remake. I got all the views. <laughs> nice. And then people were disappointed, like, wait a second. Be gone, fiend. I think that's my best viewed video. I could be wrong. But yeah, my biggest problem with making that video is I have no clue what I'm doing when I'm playing the fucking game. <laughs> I'm just playing the game. Victory. But a victory nonetheless. I could go into the intricate details, but I don't know if those details would be right. Like this does this and this, and then it turns out study I just told bullshit. Yeah, that you just told a whole bunch of lies. And then it's like, alright, well now I just feel bad. I lied to people. <laughs> I'm Spartacus, Nugget. <laughs> Give me that. <laughs> You're not a Death Lord anymore, you fucking shit stain. You're supposed to be the hardest enemy? Don't, don't make me fucking laugh. I disarmed you. I win. No, he found a sword! He found a sword that's cheating! Unbelievable. Back to the pit. Well, I mean, I guess him just having a sword isn't as bad as him having a goddamn battle axe. So I, I guess I can't fault him much for doing the smart thing. As much as I would like to. Everyone else has had more sex than me. That is a complete such, lie. Such an old song is broken. Maintain the offensive. Executed with impunity. Executed. But I'll be damned if that wasn't a good song for its time. Give them no quarter. As the fiend falls, a faint hope blossoms. Oh, that just made me feel old saying that. Saying that song was made so long ago. It's like it's like the ultimate showdown. <laughs> I mean, yes, the ultimate showdown is old, but like, I mean, you know. Or is it merely a trick of the light? What are we referencing here, right? This makes me so sad, like. So old. Oh, Godzilla was hopping around. Tokyo City, Tokyo like, a City big like a big playground when suddenly Batman burst from the shade and hit, hit Godzilla with a back grenade. Godzilla got pissed and began to attack. <laughs> he got attacked by Shaq, who proceeded to open up a can of Shaq food when Aaron Carter came out of the blue. 
<laughs> and started beating up Shaquille O'Neal and, and they, they both, both got, got flattened, flattened by the Batmobile back before he could make it back to the Batcave. Abraham, Abraham Lincoln came out, out of his grave. grave. Took an AK-47 out from under his hat. Blew Batman away with a rat -a tat tat <laughs> Then he ran out of bullets and he ran away because, because Optimus, Optimus Prime, Prime came, came to, to save, save the, the day. day. This is the ultimate showdown of ultimate destiny. Guys, bad guys, and an explosion. As far as the eye can see. see. And only, and one, only will one will survive. I wonder who it will, will be. be. This is, this the, is ultimate the ultimate show. showdown. Ultimate, ultimate destiny. destiny. The degeneracy of the Hamlet is nothing. The worst part is, I'm probably fucking up your syncing with me by trying to sync with you. Nah, we're not musicians. We're. We we're ain't that couple, good. Just a couple <laughs> of guys who like singing a song. We ain't good at all. <laughs> <coughs> oh, come now. It's never that bad. No, I've, I've seen far worse, and I do know that. There are some people that I'm like, oh. My Jesus. It's like, please, my ears are hurting. Stop. I'm like, you are not only off-key, you are out of rhythm, out of tune, and those aren't even the right words. Off-key and out of rhythm are. But generally, the best way to say it is just with off on all of them. Off-key, off-rhythm, off, off, rhythm, off We have a rule in my family. It basically applies to all of us. But if you can't sing good, sing loud. <laughs> Who is stressed? Is no one stressed? Not really. Well, that feels really nice. Well, now let's fucking put on that song. Alright. Let's take out a boss. Let's take out the unstable flesh. You want a jester. I'll take the higher level jester. Um. We could do double jester. Because all we're going to do is bleed the middle. I like variety. I'm not really a big fan of running, um, you know, double whatever. I've done it, but like, I'm just not a big fan of it. I like variety. It feels like you're trying to play too much on one strategy. That's the dumbest way to get taken out by a fight, though. What? Getting hit by a Care Bear stare. <laughs> then Samuel L. Jackson got killed by a bunch of snakes. Yeah, but still, Angel sang out in immaculate chorus. Down from the heavens descended Chuck Norris. That's when Chuck Norris was on top of the internet meme. He's still pretty high up there. He still is. 
I I feel like the internet's gonna snap in two when he eventually dies. It'll be sad. We all like Chuck Norris. I mean, he got killed by Bruce Lee. Okay. <laughs> I bet you, I bet you, Bruce Lee would have been funny as shit on the internet if the internet was around when he was alive. Mr. Rogers in a bloodstained sweater. I could not store such a prodigious amount of awful nor could I rid myself of it easily, possessed as it was by unnameable things from outer spheres. When excavations beneath the manor broke through into an ancient network of aqueducts and tunnels, I knew I had found a solution to the problem of disposal. Got it. The thing is more Brings me back to the days when things were happy. An incoherent jumble of organ now I've made myself depressed, I'm gonna listen to it again. <laughs> God, before YouTube, there was E-Bombs World and Newgrounds. E-Bombs World, new, new Grounds, Funny Junk even. Funny junk, yeah. Annihilated. Slowly, gently. This is how a life is taken. I actually want to run into the thing from the stars because I have a bunch of dots. Or at least, success. yeah, I have a bunch of dots. You have enough dots. You have enough dots. More dots. More dots. Come on, Hellion. Ah, oh, fucking vomit. They should kill him in one hit. I'm okay with that. Ouch. Masterfully executed. Destroy them all. Monty on the rail black night. Zolini and the blue mini and cowboy Curtis and John B. the genie. Robocop, Terminator, Terminator. Captain Kirk, Darth God, Vader, Low Pan, Superman, Superman, every single Power Ranger, Ranger. Bill S. Preston, and Spizor, Logan, Spock, Spock the, the Rock, Rock Doc, 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 and Hulk Hogan. Hogan. <laughs> I, I remember only parts of it, even when I was trying to practice it. I could never get it all right. There's only one song I could never sing if I wanted to try, and that's Hardware Store. And that's what? Hardware Store. I don't know what that is. Alright, the best thing I can tell you to do then is look up Weird Al Yankovic Hardware Store. Okay. I probably could not do it. No. It's... absurd. May we find... 
find victory. I want these six crests. Goodbye, holy water. I was gonna actually pause the video, open up Twitch, and do song request on your stream, but you don't have that. No. Damn. Shit, well then I gotta bring shit upstairs then. One journal page gets left behind. Stun. Yeah. A decisive pummeling. Prodigious size alone does not dissuade the sharpened blade. Stress relief. You should bleed to death, right? Yeah, okay. You know, you should probably cook yourself some dinner soon. Yeah, I should. of safety. Alright, I'm pretty sure the boss is down this hallway. Let's go get him. After a quick snack. Made. 
impressive. <laughs> the poor of the the flesh, the poor uh, healing stroke thingy. Yeah. It's like you just beat up on that one spot wherever the heck it's at. <laughs> Does it have the lowest protections? Yup. Oof. Ow. Oh, well, it's giving me the business now. I like this boss, it's a real interesting boss. But if you just have a whole bunch of dots, like, you can wail on it really fast. Yep. But also, if, then if it decides to spawn four of the healing things. Yeah, it, it does counteract. Shit. All Thankfully, it doesn't have any heals over time. Yeah. Usually, like, Hound's Harry's like my favorite, because you just hit all the spots and bleed all the spots. And it's just constantly taking damage. Then you'd also love one of the moves the uh, Shield Breaker gets. It might not do the most damage, but it has a blight chance on all the enemies. Oh, Impale, yeah. After you level up past the first one, yeah. I must admit, I really do like the Shield Breaker. I think she's a wonderful addition. I think so too. Especially thanks to the fucking thing from the stars with her pretty much ignoring his protection. Its destruction yes. Consolation, given the implications of its terrible existence. Remind yourself that overconfidence is a slow and insidious killer. Overconfidence is a slow and insidious killer. Remind yourself that overconfidence. I get it, you fucking bitch. I was trying to take home a journal page. Too much inventory space? Uh, yeah, or not enough. Too much of that sweet swagger in the inventory space, I say then? Did they added more journals? Probably added in at least at least seven more journals, I'd wager. So I don't think I recognize that one. I know with every single update they add a little bit. Like there's the original journals for Darkest Dungeon. They added some more for Crimson Curse, and they added some more for uh Meteor, I think. The way is lit. The path is clear. We require only the strength to follow it. Oh, how are the trinkets that you get for trading in meteorite crystals anyway? They are very they're they're meant for the uh, endless run. They're like they're re they're really good. The biggest perk about them is that there's no um, drawbacks to them, is, you know, there's not like plus 20% stress or something of that nature. Um, the only thing that I see as a fallback for them is if one hero dies, all of a sudden, like, it's a massive debuff kind of deal thing. But, you know, if you're doing an endless run when you lose one person, the run basically is going to end soon, right? Yeah. Um
But they're really, they also, they're unique in that a lot of them have conditions like, uh, you get plus 10 accuracy if there is holy water in your inventory. Um, uh, so they're kind of strange conditionals. Yes, the, they, uh, mine was a, a little bit extreme, but like, for the Vestal, you get an extra healing if you have holy water in it kind of deal thing. Um, it makes a bit, a bit more sense, at least the item to the character makes sense. Medicinal herbs for the Plague Doctor makes sense. Um, things like that. Great is the weapon that cuts on its own. Oh, so like a shovel for the grave digger. Yeah. So you have a lot Bandages of items for the leper. Yeah. So you have a lot of items in your inventory space for um, those kinds of things. Um, I should make some room. Would you say that if you can meet the meet the requirement often? If you meet the requirement often, would you say that that they naturally outclass the legendary trinkets? No, they do outclass them because they don't have the negative drawbacks, though. All right. But naturally outclass them? No, I don't think I could say that. So just on virtue of them being uh, not having a stress drawback or the like, you'd wager them being better, but not entirely. Correct. I just fucking you open up a chest without using a key. I feel so smart. Do I have any medicinal herbs left? No! I got rid of those. Got rid of all my weed. Secret room? Ah, son of a bitch. Be the thing from the stars! Oh, four maggots, same thing. Executed with impunity. Be gone, fiend. One thing I do know about uh, the maggots is how much bullshit they used to be when the game first came out. <laughs> They had so much stun potential. Yep, and even better, they had just so much flat protection. They did! That's right, they did! And then they totally got rid of that. A brilliant confluence of skill and purpose. I don't know why I did that. I mean, it was it was at a time where stun was really overpowered, and I mean they nerf yeah. stun now, but like I say, they they fixed um, it. Like they fix stun for both sides. Uh, when basically after you come out of a stun, you gain a uh, stun resistance. Now that stun resistance is stronger. So the chance of stunning twice in a row with certain characters is not possible, like how it was before. Um, well, spent the holy water there. Um, I mean, now sometimes you're lucky if you even just stun. It's a bit rough these days. But back at that time, you could get stunned repeatedly over and over and over and over again. Back to the pit. And then when they added, God, when they added corpses to fill up body spots, 
That was an interesting turn of events. Yeah, I know people weren't very happy with that change, but, you know, fuck them. I, I could see why, but I personally, I like the change in the game. Give them no quarter. It was, it actually became more strange to see which enemies didn't have corpses, like the maggots, the spiders. The blood quickens. Um... That was kind of strange. A faint hope blossoms. God damn it. Momentum. Push on to the task's end. What does your god need, Nam? Uh Trinkets and baubles, paid for in blood. No, I paid for it with exactly one key. Curious is the trap maker's art, his efficacy unwitnessed by his own eyes. Are you the thing from the stars? Damn it! I spit my last torch. There's scrolls on the ground. Nope, no thing from the stars. I guess unless I go back and forth in this dungeon like an idiot, I'm not gonna see him. A devastating blow. And when they added the corpses, it made me really think about when I constructed my party of... That's why I like bounty hunters. That's also why I like the man at arms. They've changed them since this update. Why I like the jester. Um, I wanted to make sure that they were adaptable at hitting different spots where I needed everybody to hit. And I always, I always found that hitting the uh, third spot to me was the magical spot that I wanted. It, you know, yeah, you could have. If frontliners could hit the third spot, that'd be great. And of course, you have backliners that could hit the backline. It's what they do. Um, so I found being able to hit that third spot was was really key. I forget, when they added the corpses, did they already have all the abilities to, like, Q and, or whatever it is, where oh, you just remove the corpses? No, they did it all at the same time. They added, like, the leper immediately got it, um... Yeah. I remember back then the leper was complete ass. Yeah. Like, you could put give somebody who was completely blind a gun and they'd probably hit a target more often than he would hit something. Yeah. I'm gonna get rid of a stack of food. Alright, I got a couple, couple last curious to come across. That curio is a torch. Really want this torch. And that's more than the 675 gold. I'm going back to. Oh shit! It's the thing from the stars! I'm calling it! Oh, It's just a ghoul. Just a ghoul. Jeez, don't sound like you wanted to get your hopes up. I did kind of want to. With this party, I wanted to fight the thing from the stars. I'm ready with this party.
Alright, we need to beat the ghoul because his next attack is going to be the howl. And I hate that move. But is it really so bad nowadays? Because That's now it true. inflicts... Now inflicts, uh... Horror. Stress over time. And overall does less. Yeah, thanks to, you know, stress resistance and all that shit being thing. Well, I mean, also, like, the horror, it'll do three stress over... Um, like four turns instead of a flat three turns. Twenty. I would say even less. So yeah. So it's, and it's not like a flat twenty, a flat seventeen. Let's see. Light sensitive sucks, but I want to get rid of this perfectionist. Please roll perfectionist. Please roll perfectionist. Witness removed. Was he even one of the locked in quirks? <laughs> God damn it, there's another set! Uh, d d d I have no torches. I could camp. I'm gonna ask now. prevent the night ambush. Yeah, I do. Alright, let's camp. Circle in the dark. The battle may yet be won. The match is struck. A blazing star. Sorry, vampires. I know it's not right to to murder someone with their back turned, but you are vampires. <laughs> you would do the same thing to me. Ew. Scatter ain't that bad for a Hellion. Hellion What's doesn't not? have range skills. Oh yeah, no, it's probably one of the best things for the Hellion. Yeah. Like, oh, less damage from range skills. Cool, I'll be sure to chalk that up to my zero skills. Right? Three people got Freaking diseases coming out of there. Ennui, scurvy, and tetanus. No rest, no peace for this wretched soul. Can I bring back one even though my, my, my thing is full? No. Alright. Get somebody back from beyond the grave. Ha 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 ha. Not today. Flagellate gets to go on his merry way. Everybody else has to go to the damn doctor. Flagellant's gonna go off and have fun. Probably whipping himself. <laughs> oh, yes! Ah. I got a little too excited when I got into that, I think. Then raises the true question. Is it too far into it or not far enough? Depends on what she said. Hey yo! Holy crap. Alright.
Jesus Christ. Uh, what kind of districts can I... Can I get? What's that? You've got a head slice? No, you don't. Well, I got enough shards now to... Get a couple of these new... To get one of these new buildings. But... Holy Water increases buffs. Ladarium adds a stress resist buff. Or the Orchid. Which adds a disease resist buff. Anti-Venom adds a blight resist buff. I mean that's like cool. Ish. Greenery. Puppet theater. Vesta will be cool. Ten percent healing skills. I don't know which of these buildings I want to upgrade next. Thinking around the painting mages. Like, do I even really need to buff the tavern and everything like that? The true question is, what does the buff do, and can you see you using that buff in the long run? Well, I mean, it's like increases stress recovery or open up one more slot. When multiple people are multiple people are stressed, I would wager at that being worthwhile. Then, if, if that's what it does, it's true. But I could save up. I could save up the stuff and get some of those district buildings. You could. Then does come the question, what would you uh, be doing with all those buildings? Like, See, it's, more, is, I have it's more it's... thing of like, now or later. Yeah. The buffs yeah. you can get now, or the buffs you can get later. Weigh them against each other. I know, that's why I'm proposing the question, because I'm trying to weigh them in my mind. I don't know. Let's see. Infestation still at none. Alright, well. I think I will take your advice and I will end this. Because I'm going to go make myself some dinner. A proper dinner. And not the processed food I've been eating the last couple days. So. Good. You treat yourself better. I'll do that. I'll treat my fatty stomach properly. Hope you all enjoyed it. I'll see you all next time. Later, Zell. Later, buddy.